Understanding, have it up to here, a deep dive. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make learning English fun and easy for you. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, have it up to here. If you've ever felt overwhelmed or frustrated with a situation, this phrase might resonate with you. Let's dive into its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you understand how to use it in your daily conversations. When someone says they have it up to here, they're usually gesturing to a point on their body, often the neck or forehead, to symbolize a high level of frustration, annoyance, or tolerance. This phrase expresses that the person has reached their limit of patience or endurance with a situation or person's behavior. It's a figurative way of saying, I can't take it anymore, or I'm fed up. The exact origins of have it up to here are a bit murky, but it's believed to have emerged in the mid 20th century. The gesture accompanying the phrase, pointing to a physical level on the body, helps to visually express the idea of being filled to the brim with frustration, much like a container might overflow if too much is added. This imagery helps others understand the speaker's emotional state. Using have it up to here in a sentence correctly can help convey your feelings vividly. Here are a few examples. I've had it up to here with the noise from the construction site next door. I can't concentrate on my work at all. She's had it up to here with his excuses for coming home late every night. We've had it up to here with the poor service at that restaurant. We're not going back. Notice how the phrase is often used with the verb have in the past tense had to express a state of frustration that has been building up over time. The non-verbal gesture that often accompanies this phrase involves raising one hand and holding it parallel to the ground, usually at neck or head level, to indicate the metaphorical filling up of one's patience or tolerance. It's important to be mindful of cultural differences, as gestures can have different meanings in different cultures. However, in many English-speaking contexts, this gesture is widely understood. That's a wrap on our exploration of the phrase, have it up to here. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use this expression to convey feelings of frustration or annoyance effectively. Remember, language is not just about words. It's also about how we express our emotions and experiences. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more English language tips. Catch you in the next video and keep practicing.